that's not entirely why Haiti's in the position that it's in. I mean, at a certain point, as a country, you have to s stand on your own two feet and take care of yourself. And, but but uh, at what point is that? That let's they they elect they elect Aristide, and we overthrow Aristide. Then they elect. I would assume that if you're going to go on somebody's show where you know that someone might give you some pushback during this interview, you would do your due diligence to make sure that you're at least up to date on the facts, to make sure that you're up to date on the people that you're talking about, and to make sure that you're up to date on the questions and the content that you're going to be answering. Maybe I'm giving a little bit too much credit, but Matt Walsh was on the Counterpoint show. Nobody thinks that it will benefit America to become more like Haiti. Nobody thinks that. Uh, or I would challenge anyone, if they do think that, to explain how that's the case. During this interview, they were discussing the situation with the Haitian migrants located in Springfield. And Matt Walsh, right on cue, starts discussing Haiti in general and the ordeal that's been going on there. Saying basically, they've done nothing to build themselves up. And they are the very people telling the black man that he ought to lift himself by his own bootstraps. You know, lift themselves up by the bootstraps. Admittedly. Upon seeing this clip, I didn't expect anyone to say anything about the level of foreign interference, the assassination of presidents, the destruction of the resources, the reparations paid back to France, the nearly $120 billion in reparations that was paid back to France. You know, France, the first world country that told that tiny island that you need to pay us reparations, or even the fact that every time this island takes little strides just to improve themselves, somebody's assassinated, which leads to chaos and gang violence and disruption in the economy. I didn't expect any of that, but thankfully, someone on that team in Counterpoints actually knew what they were talking about and decided to push back at Matt Walsh. Take a look. Nobody thinks that it will benefit America to become more like Haiti. Nobody thinks that. Uh, or I would challenge anyone, if they do think that, to explain how that's the case. Like, in what way could this country be improved by making it more like Haiti? When you look at Haiti, what part of Haiti are you saying to yourself, we need more of that? Beaches. Well, well we, yeah, we, I, we have more beaches than them too, right, don't we? Right, do we? I mean, we're we, a much bigger right, country. We don't want a marine invasion and occupation of the United States that constantly decapitates governments and and takes takes the money out of the country and yeah, like saddles us with we don't like want the Clintons debt either. from a revolution. Yeah. Right. right. Although I don't I don't so you're we, saying that we wouldn't want to be like a basically a, a colony that the entire West spends two hundred years punishing after the Haitian Revolution. I, I get right. that, but I, I understand that, but also yeah. at a certain We point, wouldn't want that, no, yes. We wouldn't want that, but I would also say that that uh, that's not entirely why Haiti's in the position that it's in. I mean, at a certain point, as a country, you have to s stand on your own two feet and take care of yourself. And, but but uh, at what point is that? that let's, they, they, elect, they elect Aristide and we overthrow Aristide. Then they elect Jovenel Moise. Jovenel Moise is assassinated by a bunch of, bunch of people with American connections, and then we install in 20... 21, like the United States installed the prime minister that we just ousted. Like, so we could say, okay, yeah, you, you got to get over the, you know, 200 years ago, but like, we're still doing it. Yeah, I mean, and I'm not in favor of, I'm, I'm, I'm very non-interventionist in my policies, so I'm not in favor of most of the things that we're doing in, in other countries. We, we just made the new government in Haiti in a hotel room in Jamaica, and then we insisted that whatever government we made in Jamaica had to allow Kenyan police, Kenyan troops to come in under the flag of the UN in order to go to war with uh, the gangs. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm not, look, I'm not interested in, right. if it were up to me, I'm not interested in doing anything in Haiti. Like, like let Haiti be Haiti and take care of them. That, that's sort of my, my whole point here. Uh, let them take care of themselves and their own problems. I'm also not saying that there's like never a scenario where we would let someone from Haiti into the country. Uh, but what, and it doesn't have to just be about Haiti, but when you're, throwing open the gates and just inviting anyone, uh, in particular, you know, I the guess third your, world. I guess your play. assumption there was that it is Haitian people that are creating the conditions on Haiti and that if the Haitian people come to Springfield, they will recreate the conditions well, but I don't think you Haiti can... in Springfield, whereas what I'm saying is that it's actually the U.S. that has largely these are the people that throw stones, hide their hand, and then criticize you for living in a house with a broken window. Matt Walsh just wants to let Haiti be Haiti? That's the problem. Haiti's never had a chance to just be Haiti. No due diligence done whatsoever in just knowing basic facts. 
All it is was just talking points that he thought he was just going to get away with. But thankfully, this guy knew what he was saying. Listen, let me know what it is that y'all think. Do you think Matt Walsh got trounced? Do you think, no, this guy's absolutely wrong in the facts. Haiti just needs to get their act together. Whatever your thoughts are, leave them in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like. And I will see you guys again on the next one. Be easy, y'all. So I'm not in favor of most of the things that we're doing in, in other countries. We, we just made the new government in Haiti in a hotel room in Jamaica.